Good morning and praise the Lord. I want to thank you and welcome you here to Good News Christian Center Church for Jesus is Lord. And do remember, we're here on Wednesday at 7 o'clock for our weekday Bible study. So we'd like to invite you to like, share, do what it takes to help get the word out. Amen. Amen. We're going to go ahead and get started this morning with prayer. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to bring your word. Father, we pray and ask that you have, Holy Spirit, have complete control. We yes. look unto you. Yes. You're not just our source. You're our only source. So yes. we're totally dependent on you. So yes. have your way in us and through us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We've been talking on the topic of the drought is over. Yes. And now with this being said, uh, as I stated last week, sometimes when you know something's been released, uh, the Bible really talks about once it's been released, out of the mouth of the prophet, it shall be established. He's out of the mouth of the with me, so shall my word be established. So when you get it, then you get a confirmation. You know it's time to do something. Amen. If it don't seem like nothing is happening, you need to make something happen. Yes. You got to put actions to your faith, because that's what faith is. Faith is really acting on what you believe. We can sit back and we can confess that we turn blue. Yes. But until you do something, nothing happens. Amen. And listen, this takes more of you. It takes more of you getting involved here, and sometimes people want the stuff, but they're not willing to do what it takes to accomplish it. So that, that takes me to the scripture that they was, uh, we was talking about the other week. The Bible said, go to the end. And then he said, thou slugger. <laughs> Meaning the lazy one. You're not gonna get something out of nothing. Yeah. You're gonna have to really take it and work it. And as I said, it takes more of you getting involved, doing something. You believe in God for more, you gotta do more. Then once watch this, and once you get more, it's more required of you. Yes. The Bible said, to whom much is given, much is required. Because see, it's not always just about you. Because see, what you do affect us is around you. That's true. And so you want to make sure that you're being effective in the right way. I don't want to be a part of the crowd that's just confessing and nothing is happening. I want to be around a bunch of prophecies and nothing is manifesting. Yes. I want to see it all. Yes. If I see it, I want to see it. Yes, yes. If I see it, I want to enjoy it. Yes. So I'm just saying to you that we have to really get involved in this portion where it says the drought is over. If your season don't change, then change your season, whatever it takes. God will meet you at the point of your faith. If thou canst believe, yes. that's where he'll meet you at. So we have to come to that place where we really take this a bit more serious. Amen. Because sometimes people just say, because the whole Bible is written mm -hmm. and it's truly stated. Mm -hmm. But what we have to understand is we have to get involved to make this thing happen. It don't just happen. We have to believe it. Listen, even with me, there's been times where I had to say, Lord, I mean, what I read in the Bible was so overwhelming. Like, God, you want to do all of this? I had to say, God, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. See, because I'm not going to debate it. I'm not going to debate it. You get into a debate with somebody, they can convince you to go their way. It reminds me of a guy was standing on the Golden Gate Bridge, and he's about to jump off. And this Christian got out of the car. I was like, hey, don't jump off. Let me just witness to you. But the man began to witness first. When the man got to witness, and the Christian said, let's hold hands and jump together. <laughs> I'm careful what I hear. <laughs> if I don't understand it, I really don't want to discuss it with a whole bunch of people that don't believe the way I believe. If the Bible said it, it's there, and it's true. Yes. And you would have to be in that place where we be, God, I, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. Because there's some things that's so big and so much, that how is he going to do this? That ain't my business. My job is to only believe. The yeah. shift said, if thou canst, believe. If you can believe, it'll happen for you. But he didn't tell you to try to figure it out. That's what we get caught up in when we're confused. And see, because God said, I'm not in the midst of confusion. So when we try to figure it out, you'll never get there. Amen. You will have to just believe it out. Amen? Amen. And it'll happen for you. Yes, yes. Let us see if we can pick up what we stopped at last week. Um, Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 10, Deuteronomy chapter 11, pardon me, and um, we'll pick up there and I'll cover these, this is going back over the same ones, but I'll cover these as fast as I can to bring us up the way we work. Um, well, we started a little higher, started at verse 7, uh, it said, but your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord, which he did. So he was really telling the children of Israel, have you seen all the things that the Lord have done bringing us out? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you've got to remember those things. Yes. All the great things you've seen the Lord do to bring you out, when you get to that place where it looked like doubt is trying to come in, remember those things. Yes. 
So this is what you got to do to come out. You got to remember those things. Now you're thinking on the goodness of the Lord. If he did it once, come on, he'll do it again. So you'll always come to a place where it seems like it's a little tough to get over, under, or around. But if thou canst believe, you got to be in that place to know, uh-uh, God did it once. He didn't bring me this far to leave me. No. Amen. He didn't build me up to let me down. No. He didn't teach me to swim to let me drown. No. we got to come to this place that when these currents come against us, say, I'll stand. I'll stand. That's what you got to be willing to do. Because it shall come to pass. So he's saying here, but your eyes have seen all the great things, the great acts of the Lord, which he did. Therefore, shall you keep all the commandments which I command, me, command you this day, that ye may be strong and go in, come on, and possess the land, whether thou go to possess it. He said, be strong and go in. Be strong and go in. So you have to be strong with the Lord and the power of his might. You can't do it on your own. Verse 9. And that ye may prolong your days in the land, that you may prolong your days in the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give unto them and to their seed, Lord have mercy, mm -hmm. a land that floweth with milk and honey. Yes. For the land whether thou goest in to possess it is not as the land of Egypt from which you came out, where thou sowedest thy seed and watered it with thy foot as the garden of herbs. Now we, we left there and we kind of went over to Genesis uh, where God told Isaac, soldier, not in this land, but in the land that I'll tell you of. See, he, when he says soldier there, he means not only soldier there, but dwell there. Stay there, I'm going to make it happen right here. See, and that's what we have to be willing to do. See, lots of times when things happen, uh, things come up and we have need of something. Let's use that for an example. Uh, we look to our connections. You should look unto God. You should look unto God. See, because uh, Isaac knew he could go down into Egypt and get it. He knew. I better go over there. Go over there. Hold your finger right there. Because I want you to get this. <coughs> Genesis chapter 26. In verse 1, I'm going to have to move because I want to get some here today. Amen. And there, Genesis 26 and verse 1. It says, there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistine, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. He's a soldier in this land, and I'll be with thee, and will bless thee. For unto thee and to all the seed of thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. So Isaac knew around all these famines that he could go down to Egypt. Somebody says going on in Egypt. <laughs> See, we know what we can go and get him. But God wants you to trust him. He, he, he wants you to come past that place that where I, I know it's over there, but I, I, I'm going over here. No, no, no. God wants you to trust him. He really do. And you're going to have to come to that place where you make up in your mind and you're going to trust in God and God alone. Or watch this. You're going to constantly come up against this test. You're going to constantly come up against the same test. You know why? You're not passing. See, this was the failure of Isaac. And even with his thinking, this wasn't a, uh, this was a failure here. He was thinking. See, he was thinking on what he knew. But that ain't what God wants you to do. We'll get to see because God said, my thoughts yes, yes. are not your thoughts. Mm -hmm. See, where you see, where you see hope in this world system, it will fail you. It will fail you. I, I knew I was dealing with some people one time, and, and, and over my wife and I both, and uh, we was talking about uh, getting some stuff. They was talking about getting some stuff financed, and I was really trying to get them over on trusting God. I said, they were so adamant about going one way. I said, listen, you ever talk about going another direction? Uh-uh, no, sir. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. And they was adamant about it. I mean, they really, it turned cold at the team. <laughs> it turned, and I was in their favor. We was in their favor. It turned cold at the table. And that's been a couple years ago, and they still suffering the same thing. Because that system failed and still hadn't gotten them anywhere. You're going to have to come to the place See, I, there's, a, there's, a, there's a picture I got somewhere, a poster somewhere around this property. I don't know. It said, cast that line where you are less likely to catch a fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
See, you didn't expect nothing from over here, but that's where it's going to come from. Because, see, your thoughts are not his thoughts. See, and we're going to have to come to that place where we make up our mind. I'm going to trust God. Yes. Regardless. If he tell me to throw a line out on dry land, on dry land, yes. ain't no water over there. What that got to do with it? Don't y'all make me go to digging ditches, see? Because, see, the enemy, the enemy wants you to trust in this world system and it's going to fail every time. It was designed to fail you. It was designed to trust you, have you trusting in a false hope, falling behind it. You got to come to a place where you trust God and God alone. He told Isaac, he said, don't go down there. You don't go down there. So in the land that I tell you, I'm going to fulfill the promise that I promised to your father. Yes. Now go over to, uh, uh, go down to verse 11. No, 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 no. Verse 12. Verse 12, pardon me. Then Isaac, I got my name there. Yes. Then Carl <laughs> sold in that land mm -hmm. and received in the same year, come on, a hundredfold, come on, and the Lord blessed him. Thank See, you're going to have to be willing to go to that place God is telling you to go to and not where you see him. Depending on your favors. See, I remember once we was in a tight with all the kids being in school. I mean, it wasn't finances. They were just trying to get them in a certain school and, and, and we couldn't get them in there. And, and the enemy said, well, you know, you know such and such. He know you by name and he's a person of high status. And he said, he, he on the, he's on the board. He'll get you in there. Nope, if he got me in one time, I would have to go back to him again. Mm -hmm. But see, I decided, no, I'm going to trust God. Yes, yes. Now, I understand the deadline of this system expired. Yes. But we stood. Yes. Watch this. Yes. And God came through. Yes. <laughs> see, you got to come to that place where you, I'm going to trust God. Regardless of the circumstance, regardless of the situation, I'm going to trust God. And it didn't look good. Oh, don't, let me tell you about the feelings. <laughs> the flesh can give you some feelings. Man, you're about to mess up, and, and uh, this, this girl's supposed to be in school, and you know, in this village here, the, the city police get involved from kids not in school. They want to know where they are and why they're not in school, and you could get in trouble. Enemy talking all these things to me. Uh-uh. Not today. I'm not hearing it. I'm standing. I'm believing God, yes. and this thing's going to come through. If I had not trusted God in that, I'd have still been in the same place. Amen. Going around in circles, taking the same test over and over again. You don't want to do that. See, here's the deal. Nobody fails in God's class. You know, in school, you can do what they call flunk. Anybody ever flunk? No. Well, listen, in God's class, nobody fails. No, no. Because he's merciful. Yeah, amen. Oh, my goodness. Grace, 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 grace and more Thank grace. You, He'll let you take the test till you pass. You get tired of dealing with you, you come through. Somebody say I'm coming through. <laughs> you don't want to constantly take the same test. Somewhere your lightning flash mind ought to tell you something ain't right here. I'm missing it. God show me. Why am I taking the same test? Oh, watch this. Sometimes people end up on the next level and they find themselves falling back to that same thing. Why? Because it was something on this level that you was not ready to be elevated and you was elevated anyway, you couldn't stay there. Cases like that, people end up Quitting. See, you have to receive what you are, where you are, when you need it. Yes. And sometimes people don't like that. In other words, people don't like corrections. But there ain't no better thing you can receive than to get to your next level. If I get everything that's down here, I can't help but to be elevated. Watch this. I can stay right here, but I know I've been elevated. I, I say, I know I've been elevated. I know I've been elevated. See, your boss don't have to give you promotion. Amen. God will deal with him. Yes, yes. But you've got to do your part. See, I like that over in Esther chapter 6, the Bible said when uh, Mordecai and Therese and all of them had had this thing, but it was planning to do even to the king, and mm -hmm. Mordecai told it. Yeah. And uh, you know the story. I'm not going to go into that because I want to stay where I am. And uh, that night, the Bible said, on that night, the king could not sleep. Because, yes. see, God's got promotion on his mind for you. But you're going to have to do your part. Yeah. When you do your part, see, God is not going to promote you, and you're not doing your part. And he's still going to be gracious to you. He's not going to be mean to you. He's going to still be gracious to you. Just as kind as he can be, but you're not going nowhere. You're staying right where you are. And sometimes people become complacent with their salary, with their jobs, with their marriage situation. All circumstances, they just become complacent and you don't have to stay there. You know that's not God's best for you. Yeah. So you need to seek. I like what that song said, I sought the Lord 
He heard me. Come on, somebody. And he answered me. Yes. Lord have mercy. See, that's where you got to come to the place where you see this thing act all the way out, not halfway. It's getting better, but it's just where it ought to be. Amen. See, that's what God has for me. He said God has nothing but the best for me. God has nothing but the best for me. Now just said nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Say it again. Nothing, nothing but, but the best. best. That's all he has. Thank you, Jesus. And we got to bring ourselves to that place. Thank you. See, it's within you. Yes. You know, when we was in school, uh, at the basketball game, they used to have a cheer. They used to say, elevate your mind. <laughs> I'm telling you, God will to elevate you in spirit. Yes. He want to build you up and take you where you're supposed to be. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> where are we? It said, verse 12 again, this is twisted. It said, then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. Come on. And the Lord bless him. Now, that was just one season. That was just one season. That wasn't four or five years. That was just one season. Why? Because he obeyed the Lord. See, when you know it's, it's, listen, let me tell you something. Stop fighting feelings. When you know it's right, do it because you know it's right. Yes. If the Bible said who you want to argue with, just, just, just do it. Just come, okay, God, help me here. Help me. See, what it is, it's a lack of, it's, it's unbelief is what it is. But their unbelief is what kept them in the wilderness so long. They didn't want to believe. It was an unbelief that kept them out there. It wasn't God being mean then. He was showing them the way, but they didn't believe. What it was supposed to be 11 days journey, I believe the theologian said. And it ended up being how many years? 40? That's two life sentences. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when they could have just believed mm -hmm. and went on through. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, Lord. See, I'm going to tell you something. I, I really think about when they brought them through the Red Sea, Moses let them through. Think about that. That was a lot to believe. If they believed that, what they couldn't believe. Man, the Red Sea ain't, ain't four feet deep. I don't know how deep it is, but according to theologians, you can look up the walls and see high rise, right, you know? And they walked through that on both sides, and God girded them and allowed them to come across, watch this, on dry land. Yes, yes. Crossing the bottom of the sea, come on, on dry land. Yes. He made a pathway, and he made a school for them. And you, they walked through all of that water, looking at it from side to side. Couldn't miss, couldn't nobody miss it. I believe a blind man, if he couldn't see it, he could feel it. But they still got out on the other side and didn't believe. I think the hard part of this whole thing with faith is folks believe. If you don't elevate your mind, your spirit can't be elevated. Amen. Because so is a man thinking. So is he. Yes. And he's going to say just what's in his heart. See, the Bible said the tongue speak what? The abundance of the heart. The most potent things in your heart is what you really believe. In, and that's what you're going to say. That's what you're going to act out. And that's what causes people to become complacent. They feel they just ought to be this way. The things my parents suffer, I shouldn't have to suffer them. Amen. You should. You're supposed to overcome that. Yes. See, Isaac, Isaac uh, Abraham had a problem getting the baby the right way. Oh, sin was helpful. But see, that sin didn't help Abraham. He still had to come back the same way God told him. He had to come the same way God told him. No, 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 no. See, Abraham, Abraham first complaint to God was, if something happened to me, all I have would go to this Eleazar who's not my son. Mm -hmm. God said, no, I'm going to give you a son out of your own body. Yes, right. Amen. Abraham didn't have the patience. And he was talking to Sarah about it. And Sarah loved her husband. She said, well, honey, I don't mind if you, you know, get whoever, uh, what's her name, the other girl, and yes. she, she, she probably, and, and they did that, and, and it's still a problem. Yes, yes. But God was talking to them, because you still going to come this way. Somebody said you're going to have to come this way. Yes. You're going to have to come God's way for it to happen. Yes. That's the only way it's going to happen for you, and be right, and not constantly cause problems. So he went through all of that, and then he came back going the right way. Abraham was ready to write then. Yes. Abraham, I said he was fully persuaded. Yes. And that's why we got to come to the place where we become fully persuaded. Yes. That what he's promised, he's also able to perform. Glory, glory, glory. Abraham had a problem with having children. And listen, Isaac had the same problem. Read it. But he overcame it. Yes. 
I'm saying to you, what your parents went through, you don't have to go through that. Amen. You can overcome that. Somebody said nothing but the best. But the That's best. what God have for you. Nothing but the best. It don't have to be the same way. See, it's called generational curses. Yes. But what's wrong with generational blessing? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It wasn't all bad for them. Somebody said, well, you can't pick. Yes, you can too. <laughs> I choose not to live the life. Amen. I choose not to go that route. Yes, yes. There's got to be a better way. Amen. And Christ is yes. the way. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. So he Amen. says here, in, and Isaac sold in that man and received in the same year a hundredfold in the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed how? Great. great. And went forward and grew until he became what? Very great. Nothing but the best. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Very great. Yes. Somebody says it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> yes. Verse 14. For he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and a great store of service. And the Philistine did what? Yes. See them the haters. They present today. Yeah. Them the haters. But you don't have to be worried about that. Because see, the thing is, you got something they want. Mm -hmm. And they don't know how to lock into it. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, but it's God. God. It's simply God. Yeah. And they envied him. Yeah. Verse 15. For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistine had stopped them and filled them with earth or dirt. And Abimelech said unto him, I said unto Isaac, go from us. But thou art much, come on, mighty than we. And Isaac got up and got out of there. I'm telling you. Watch this. Now, he became great right there with him. But now he's going into possess the land that God had given him. God has better for you. Amen. He has more for you. I came to pronounce to you today, you ain't seen nothing yet. I received, thank you, Lord. Let me say it again. You haven't seen nothing yet. I said, you haven't seen nothing yet. I remember back here some time ago, I pronounced that your paycheck about to become your play money. I've seen it manifest. I'm telling you, we got to come to this place. I believe it and I receive it. My paycheck is about to become my play money. That's hot. Yes. That's hot. I was talking with some guys the other day, they were talking about these race cars. And the guy said, yeah, but that's hobby money. Well, I, ain't, I don't have hobby right now. I can't afford a hobby. Well, I came to pronounce, regardless, yes. in spite of, yes. with or without, yes. your paycheck yes. is about to become your play money. Yes. See, you have to, when you catch this stuff, you just got to believe it. I don't know how. And I ain't trying to read no other book but this book to find out how. Amen. Somebody Amen. should stick with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Listen, God is real. Yes, he is. He's real, and we have to trust this. And sometimes we read this, and we don't feel that we're worthy of it. And I think that's what holds a lot of people up. Yes, yes. We don't feel we're worthy of it. How can I have all of that? Well, everybody he blessed in here had problems. I don't want to go down the list, but they all had problems. They, I said they all. Yes, yes. <laughs> Some of them were murderers, <laughs> and God blessed them anyway. I, I won't even go into that, but they all had issues just like we did. We somebody said, I have overcome. overcome. And God is with me. And God is with you know, I like over in um in I think it's in Exodus where he told about I brought you out on eagle wings. I remember when we were suffering and struggling, and I look back, he brought us out on eagle wings. How did he do that? You you got no damage. Your memory is even is gone from that now. You don't even remember the days. He brought you out. Thank you, Jesus. On evil wings. That was a smooth ride. Yeah, what the number of that flight was, I don't know, but that was a smooth flight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I look back sometimes, I said, Lord, look what you have done. Yes, yes. Look what you have done. Yes. No scars. Somebody say, I don't look like. I don't look like. What well, I've been through. Well, I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Hallelujah. Ain't God good? Yes. Now let's go back over here to do the right. What we chapter eleven? Yes. Yes. The Psalm seventy. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord which He did. Therefore, you should keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that ye may be strong and go in and possess the land, whether thou go to possess. And that ye may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give unto them and to their seed a land that falls in milk and honey. For a land, whether thou goest in to possess it, 
is not as the land of Egypt which thou came out, where thou sowest thy seed and watered it with thy foot as the garden of earth. But the land whether thou go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of heaven, a land which the Lord thy God careth for. The eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it, from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. Now we went over, I'm not going to go there, but we went over to uh, Psalm 65 and 11, you can write that in the voice translation I believe it was. He talks about the carts being carried with unstoppable growth. With unstoppable growth. And that's where we're supposed to be. Somebody said, I'm living in unstoppable growth. I'm living in A perpetual growth. This is where you're supposed to be. Because see, the enemy don't want you to think that. Verse 13. And it shall come to pass, and you shall hearken diligently to the Lord, to, the, to my commandments, which I command you this day, the love the Lord your God, to love the Lord your God, and to serve him with, come on, all your heart and with all your soul. Yes. That I may give you the rain of your land in its due season. Mm -hmm. The first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle that thou mayest eat and be full. Now we, we are went over also blessed to a uh, Second Kings 317. We're not gonna go there either. Where it talks about after they had gotten out there, there was no water to give the people nor the cattle. Mm -hmm. And they begin to look for a prophet. Somebody said we need a prophet. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes people don't think there's modern day prophets. They don't think it's modern day apostles, but it is. God never stopped doing this the same way. He never took nothing out the ministry gifts. He, if, listen, if they was in the Old Testament and he announced it, then he announced them in the New Testament, why aren't they? He's the first apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers. So because, evangelists, pastors, teachers, because he said this, that means they're still here. You just have to trust them. But sometimes people have lived in such a way that folks don't want to trust. Because of who we came from, but I'm going to tell you something. And don't get this confused. Gifts come without repentance. Yes. Let me say that one more time. Gifts come without repentance. So we have to be in a place where we accept this as it is written. Not according to my own ability, but accept it as it's written. God said that. So we're still in a place now where you can hear from a prophet. And so they begin to ask, is there a prophet? They were having a tough time, and they knew the way to God was to hear from a prophet. Yeah. Is, is there a prophet in this town? So they found Elijah. Elisha, who had poured water on the hands of Elijah. And when they found him, they asked him. And all of a sudden, well, he went through some things, kind of set uh, Jezebel and Ahab saw in his place. He said, if it wasn't for King Jehoshaphat, I wouldn't even look at you. He said, but bring me a ministry. Somebody said they begin to pray. See, praise is your weapon. Yes. Praise is your weapon. Yeah. And the Bible said he began to pray. The Spirit of the Lord came up on him, and he first thing he told him said, "Dig ditches." Yeah. See, when you get ready for God to do something for you, you got to prepare something where to put it. You don't have enough room. Amen. You got to prepare a place for Him to put it. Yeah. You really do. Sometimes you have to say, "Lord, prepare me." Yes. I like that song a gentleman had out years ago. Lord, prepare me mm -hmm. a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Watch this, holy and true. Yeah. You have to be prepared to receive the things God has for you. God is ready. He's waiting on you. Amen? Amen? So we have to be in that place where we open up and receive just what God has for us. Now go with me over to um, Psalm 115. Let's start at verse 10. It's an old house of Aaron. Trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Yes. The Lord hath been mindful of us. Meaning he's been thinking about us. Yes. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Come on. Both small and great. Both small and great. Yes, yes. The Lord shall increase you. Thank you. More and more. You, come on, 
and, and your children. children. Listen, saints, you want to see it coming out yes. in the next generation. That's what you want to see. You want to be under the spot mm -hmm. where the blessings are flowing out. Yes. Yes. You want to see it in the next generation. You know, see, this is evidence mm -hmm. that you've done something right. You want to see it coming out. And it's not supposed to stop with you. He said it to your children's children. Mm -hmm. From generation, come on, to generation. You want to see it coming out. You should see it coming out through your children. He said, they teach you more and more, you who? And, and your children. children. He spoke right there to the next generation. Yes, yes. You're supposed to see it coming out. Nothing is supposed to stop it. But understand, everybody have their part. Everybody have their part. God gives everybody their part to do. And you have to do your part. And as you do your part, you'll see it happen. See, therefore, you're not in that Deuteronomy 1 and 11. He said, let's go over there. I believe that's Deuteronomy 1 There's one, but I meant two. Go to one first. Go to one. Deuteronomy 1 and 11 first. It said, The Lord God of your father make you a thousand times so much, so many more as ye are blessed. You are and bless you and have promised you. See, God is ready to do this thing, but we got a blessing. Yes, yes. Look over chapter 2. Look at verse 1. I start with verse 1. It says, Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir. Come on. Many days. We compassed Mount Seir. What? Many days. They was going in circles. Yes. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Come on. Turn you northward. I mean, get it right. Yes. Get it right. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Yes. Yes. Get it right. Yes. Get it right. He had to speak to them and tell them, turn you northward, turn toward me. Mm -hmm. Turn away from all these fables and these other things that you're believing in. Turn toward me. You want to see it? Turn toward me is what he was saying to them. You can pass this mountain long enough. You've just been going in circles all along. Yes. And that's what you find Christians doing. Lots of them just going in circles. No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's, it, it's time to go for. I said it's time to go Forward. Yes, that's yes. what we're gonna have to do. Yes. Go. Somebody should go forward. Go forward. And that's what that's that's what he wants us to do. Sometimes people don't really want to believe this way it is, mm -hmm. but it is. Yes. It is what it is. You uh, uh you just gotta be willing to move on. You, you, if, if you feel like you're stuck somewhere, you need to go before the Lord and ask Him, Lord, what's what's going on with me? Where have I missed you? Sometimes our words will hold us up because of. We, we think in one way or the other. It reminds me of the spies. All those spies that went out there, were 12 spies that went out there, and only two spoke what they believed and not what they saw. If you look at this world system and agree with it, you're going to be stuck in it. But when I look at it and I see it, you know what I say? For me, it's subject to change. Yes, yes. I said it's subject to change. Yes, yes. I can't leave it like that. No, I'm gonna let you predict. Your prediction is a prophecy over me. Mm -hmm. I'm not having it. And you say, oh, how bad it's gonna be on uh, for me. The Lord has been mindful of me. Yes. He said he would bless me. Yes. <laughs> you, he said he would bless me. Yes, yes. He'll increase me. Yes. More and more. Thank you. He said, not just you, but you come on. And your children. We got to come to this place where we trust Yes, sir. We really do. I mean, you want to see it in the next generation. Yes. I, I believe with every parent's prayer that their children do better than them. No, we can't fail that. This is not on them. This is on us. Yes. So, so you know, if I know what it took to get me somewhere, what are you going to do? Do it. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. At all costs, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Yes. I said at all costs, yes. I'm going to do it. Yes. Because I know. This is what he said, God cannot lie. Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? I'm telling you, saints, we got to come to this place where we look to no other. Yes. Trust God and God alone. God is real. Yes. But do you really believe that? Yes. Do you believe that he'll act in your favor? Yes. If you did, then you'll do something different. 
And you got to wake up within yourself and see it the way God sees it. Do it the way, I don't know, no, no, I don't understand it all either. But I'm doing it. There's some things God told me to do. You know the first thing I did? I stopped laughing. <laughs> Somebody said, was it funny? No, but I had to keep my joy. Because <laughs> he's giving me something to do here that I can't do it in my own strength. Amen. I had to, the joy of the Lord is your strength. I had to start laughing. And I shared it with my wife. Hey, it's just God give you these things because he's trying to take you somewhere. Do you think you're going to get there to stand and no, learn your ABC? No. You want to go further than that? Somebody said, I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust God. Because I believe in God. See, if you believe in him, yes. you'll trust him. Yes. And that's what it's going to take for you to do. It ain't nothing. I say it ain't nothing. It's not a thing. It's not a thing that's too hard for him. He can do the impeccable, the remarkable. He, God can do anything he wants if thou canst believe. So I'm telling you, get it started early while we're still in January. You start early. Trust in God. If you ain't got the faith to do it, just act on it. Begin to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. If you're afraid to do it, do it in fear. Yeah. Watch God come through. Yeah. You gotta come to that place where you stop seeing things the way they are. Begin to speak to your circumstances, your situation. Say something, and heaven will provide. Mm -hmm. I pray that you did get something yes, out of this message. Yes. Well, if there's anyone out there who has never accepted Jesus as the Lord person say, you like to feel free to do so at this time by repeating this prayer after me, dear Lord. You know my life. You know how I live. I ask you to forgive me. And I receive forgiveness unto myself. And I forgive all others who need forgiveness on my behalf. I believe that Jesus died. And on the third day, God raised him from the dead. And he's my new Lord and Savior. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you went through that prayer hole, heaven is rejoicing with you. About that, we want you to give us a call because we have a pack of information we'd like to get out to you to help you begin your new walk with God. Amen. Amen. By dial 601-845-6095. 601-845-6095. And also to give. Let me give you a verse for that. Luke 6, 38, he said, Give, mm -hmm. and it shall be given unto you. Yes. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your book. But the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured back to you again. Also, he says he will increase you yes. more and more, yes. you and your children. You're not doing it just for you. You're setting up the next generation. So feel free to give. To give online, click the link in the comment section to give me a text. Text GNCC and the amount you want to give to 73256. 73256. While you're preparing your tithes and offering, I want to go ahead and bless them. Father, we thank you now and ask that you receive your tithes, Lord God, as we return them. As for the offering, Lord God, I pray and ask that you will increase them as you say it more and more. Us and our children. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Give God a hand praise. God, I do. There's so much you can pray for because yes. he's, he's a good God. Amen. Yes, but before, the, before you go today, I want to bless you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Now, Lord, as we leave this place, but not your presence, I commission the angels to watch over every person. To keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. I pray a hedge of protection about them, and I plead the blood over them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And all the believers say, Amen. Amen. And consider yourselves dismissed. Until we meet again, God bless you.